Hey, my brethren, Scorpion. Uh, welcome to the channel. It's Rad, your fellow Scorpio. And uh, in this whole video, we're going to look into Scorpio Sun Moon and also uh, Scorpio Rising. Weekly general tarot reading February 7th up until February 13th, 2022. And if you do want to skip the draw for our star sign and just jump right away into the spread, you can do that by uh, using the timestamp in the description down below of this video. Other than this, uh, should you wish uh, to support us and uh, support what we do, all you gotta do is just subscribe for the channel, leave a like, hit the notification bell so you do not miss uh, the weekly uploads and as well the live streams uh, that we are doing here on the channel. So with that being set aside, uh, let's jump right away into the draw and the first card that we do have for our draw that is going to be the... Uh, not the Wheel of Fortune, but the High Priestess, followed by the second one, which stands as uh, the Hermit. Moving next, we do have uh, the Two of Wands, followed by uh, the King of Cups. And the final card for us, this is going to be the Ace of Wands. So I do want to draw one more card for the uh, King of Cups, just so I will be able to tell us more about this person that is going to manifest into our life. And the card happens to be uh, the Knight of Wands. Okay, so this is uh, for our draw. And now let's jump right away into the reading itself. All right, Scorpio, so uh, you can see your spread on the screen. We can see our spread on the screen because I am Scorpio as well. And uh, where do I even begin from? I mean, the start of the week, it looks like there is going to be, at least on the surface, that is uh, quite uneventful and underwhelming for the people that are looking towards us. But within us, um, there will be an important standpoint brewing we can see that within these uh, couple of cards here, the High Priestess and the Hermit, very, very strong cards. Uh, the Hermit is a follow-up, very strong follow-up. And uh, based on that contemplation, because they truly speak about contemplation, that it may look like a waste of a waste of time from a side. Uh, <clears throat> based on what we deduct from that uh, from that con contemplation, we're gonna start making very strong moves, very strong progress uh, to a point where we are to be addressed with really good uh, enterprise or opportunity, if you will. It, it looks like solid gaining for one. Uh, <clears throat> so uh, the start of the week on the material front, like our job, like our love life, things are likely to go exactly as they are. No changes whatsoever. That is at least up until the uh, up until the middle of the week. With the high priestess, we are going to do what we do uh, with with our love life. Although with our love life, should we in a relationship right now, it's highly likely with the high priestess that the uh, the emotional connection the love that it is out there to get deeper and deeper and by the way the high priestess is the card for soulmates because that card in term of relationship is the, it, it describes the bondage of souls I don't know why people say that the lovers is the lovers first of all it's an air sign air is about mental ability it's about thoughts rather than emotions. The High Priestess is the purest water. Water is emotions and uh, that is the, the real soulmate card. So even if by some chance, by some freaking chance, uh, we happen to find somebody to date with, although like I said, the week is going to start very, very uneventful because the High Priestess is still card. It's, it, it puts everything to stall. Uh, rest assured that we can establish a really strong emotional connection with that person and highly likely we, I hate that word, but still we, we do, we are facing our soulmate there. Uh, but uh, based on this monotonous act or rather like monotonous follow up here or monotonous development, I'm sorry, uh, of the week, we are going to start growing to understand from the peacefulness of the situation, 
okay of our love life of our, of our career as well we're going to start growing to understand what is substantial for for us and what is not and uh, towards the middle of the week we are we may some of us may find ourselves to make some readaptations to make some changes to drop things one thing in favor of another others from us they will become more telegraphed more devout or devout is the word to one specific enterprise now this change of course it's not gonna be faced lightly from the exterior like our friends as well like our colleagues maybe our family also uh there well, what my point here is that they not everybody we know and we think as a friend or we think as a relative is going to applaud us for that we become more devout to one thing over another however uh what we are to become devout of uh, it's uh, uh it will be that decision is going to be born of a huge intellect and as well wisdom on our behalf identifying what is substantial for us what 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 what, what is our uh purpose if you will and that will put no doubt in us to drive into that direction, to, to, to make steps toward it. And once we identify that important thing, whether it is a person, whether it is a job, you know, whether it is just a, a way how we are to live, we are going to start making very strong progress into that direction here with the two of uh, with the two of ones. The two of ones as a card points that at the middle of the week, we are to see ourselves uh, already uh enjoying good accomplishments into that substantial direction of ours once again whether it is a love direction or whether it is a business direction but also as we do enjoy a very good accomplishments at that point we are to as well understand that we can go for so much more i mean that thing although in a very satisfiable state we just only scratch the surface of it we are just at the tip of the iceberg and it can go for so much further, for so much longer, for so much wider, whether it is a job once again or a relationship. And thus, depending on how we get there, through knowledge or through um uh, through skills though this this exciting knowledge skills um as well approach uh, our development of it should not stop there but should expand with it as well so if you for example are thinking of um, signing up a class or start reading some kind of a book or anything like this you know to, to to build up a personal knowledge personal skills it is in an ideal time to do so at the mid of the week from the early stages towards the middle of uh, towards the middle of the week and that progress of ours is going to catch the eye of uh, that person knight king of cups with the knights of wands now king of cups these people usually comes uh, about with a proposal okay uh because they are very aware of what they feel and the king of cups it is the only card of cups that is capable to tame their emotions meaning that they act professionally although they are uh, very attached emotionally to what they are to do or whom they are to do with okay so they when they step out they usually come about with an offer either for an enterprise which most likely is our case or either to to help us because they identify that we do deserve their help whatever it is uh, for us whether it is an an, uh, an an offer for a job or offer for some kind of an enterprise or a help uh, for us there is literally no reason to to deny that helping hand because it's not going to going to be a contradictory it's pretty clear here with the uh, knights of uh, wands uh, what i mean it's not going to be a contradictory for example if you do have a blossoming family you do love with your partner so much you know and you don't even think about falling in love with somebody else or being with somebody else then that offer definitely is going to be about job you know there there isn't going to be any contradictory with with uh, the goodness and the wellness of your life but that offer will fall upon what you find to be substantial okay so from the hermits that is going to uh, give a birth to the uh king of uh, cups and look at the arrow well, regardless i digress 
Uh, so the ad, he's going to give us an offer that uh, will allow us to have the means to make even further progress into the direction we do find substantial. The only negative quirk that I can see in the King of Cups here it is that they become too much... I don't know how do you call it, carried on in a sense of that they are losing focus very very quickly because everything they see as a new it kind of like grows interest in them and today they're interested in one thing tomorrow in another and imagine you do have a project together and today they're interesting interested into approaching the project in one way but at the evening on that the very same day they were they were um into the shower and just some kind of a different idea come came to their mind and tomorrow when they come at work they're going to be interested into that different idea so consistency it's not exactly the name of the game of uh, this individual uh, king of uh, cups but luckily the enterprise itself it is uh, defined by the um ace of wands and first of all the ace of wands shows that at the end of the week we are going to sit in front of truly gaining for enterprise in front of us it's just there is no doubt about it okay uh, but also that is an enterprise that carries on with it a lot of experimentation it is like there there is no clear course of manifesting it there is no clear course of succeeding into uh into the venture it all comes to that what what you will find to work for you and what that king of cups is going to find to work uh, for them as well now that enterprise what's uh, what we are going to gain from it well first of all we are going to gain that that our environment our day-to-day -day routine will become much more versatile than before there are going to be many varieties many things for us to do and it's just there will be no boredom should there be any at that stage another thing that this enterprise is going to give the suite is a, a possibility for us to develop skill talent knowledge that we have an affinity toward it is just we never needed it by that point and if it is a uh, a talent then that was a slumbered talent so i know definitely for me this isn't going to be something about singing or or painting or drawing because i am terrible at that i mean if, when i start singing it's it's a dreadful experience nobody wants to hear me but in any case <clears throat> At the end, it will be a really interesting, uh, how can I put it into words, opening, a door is going to open in front of us, that's the prospect of it, it is very enthusiastic and like I said, interesting. Uh, what I want to emphasize before I wrap this thing around, it is that take it easy at the start of the week, Scorpio, I mean, if things are not working out with the speed and the pace you are hoping for, that is for a reason and the reason is so you can deliberate we can deliberate we can emphasize on you know what is important for us is the job uh, the important part of our life is 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 love the important part of our life because at the end of the day we cannot have it all okay and um before we have it we can but before we have it all we first have to focus on one thing at the time and that is the moment here at the start of this week that we are to contemplate what should be the thing we have to focus first and once we do identify that then a solid progress in that direction is to be established so with that being said that was our uh, weekly general tarot reading hopefully you do enjoy it and uh, you do like it guys and we are to see each other <laughs> next time until then bye